Let's talk about best raves I've been to. Actually, that might be good. Best raves, yeah, because I've got, I've got my little um thing here. I was looking at my RA and I was checking all my events I've been to. I've been to quite a few good events. Um, this or last year actually. So some, let me just go through some of my top events that I went to in 2019. Right, so raves from January 2019 to December 2019. And they're all on my kind of RA of my tickets thing. You can see on the screen. So I'm just going to quickly just scan through some stuff that I thought was of interest. So um, what's a good thing I thought was great that I went to? What's the first rave I went to in 2019? Oh, Origins. Steffi at Mixed Garage. That was great. And um, again, Origins put on probably one of the best nights out at the thing at the moment. Um, I don't think they can be contested for the most part in terms of promotion, in terms of who they get. <coughs> it's a fairly safe kind of format they usually have a couple residents who they kind of have in house playing beforehand and then they have a big stellar act that you would have known or heard of um you know shelling for the most of the kind of peak hours between the hours of like 12 and 4 a.m and again mix being just around the corner from where i live it's um just so it's, it's it's kind of situated within these little warehouses around hackney wick if you're familiar with the crate you'll know where that area is so it's not too far from there and again i can walk home pretty quickly i can get an uber pretty quickly so just a perfect zone for me to be around right um so do we have a no no one has a video actually is it, this is peach playing there so yeah we, we don't I, I don't have a video at the moment i think this is a video of peach playing at mix actually it's pretty cool i put that up to show you what it looks like so essentially this is i've got mixy on the screen for those of you watching via youtube and you've got essentially it's like a it's it, i think it doubles up as a warehouse for like beer local beer that gets served in the bars around i'm sure they have the beer i'm pretty sure i've seen crate um mixed garage brewed beer in the crate that little kind of pub bit with the pieces and stuff i'm pretty sure um so they've got this mat it's like a big kind of warehousey sort of space right it's got like a mezzanine like sort of thing at the at the back where they're just uh, just over the bar then at the front where the dj is meant to be at that's where they kind of put all the pallets with the beer kegs and stuff but i'm sure during the day the entire dance floor is made is built up of kegs and stuff but they kind of clear it before you come there and then of course they've got usually some kind of cool lighting that happens around the dj i think when we went to see tricks play um late last year they had a real big setup involved in lighting they got someone to come in and do the whole you know lights and stuff and it was flipping insane but usually the lighting setup is pretty cool and i think by and large i try to stand as close as i can to the speakers at the front and just get really crazy get really mental and have a good time and as you can see here this is peach playing at oranges as well shelling it down was actually was peach playing as a she might have been a, a, a flipping um warm-up actually do you remember that bloody hell it's so long ago uh no it wasn't it was token playing with, with peach um sorry with Steffi, but that was that was origin so that was a fun night i remember that being quite fun you can see here from the front of the booth dj actually tearing it up i said peach is that like pc music is peach pc music i'm not too sure i forgot but yeah this set looks pretty fun so that was that that looked like a fun occasion again i didn't go to that but i went to see Steffi. Again, one of my favorite um, DJs out. I think, do you, do you remember Steffi? Steffi's one of my favorite. I remember she, do you remember this song? Um, uh, Steffi, yours, you remember that? That was my kind of go-to from back in the day. Um, one of the first sort of like, you know, Tech house tunes that I kind of played to the end. Would well, you call it Tech House? I think you would call it Tech House, wouldn't you, right? Do you remember this? That was a big tune. Anyway, yeah, so Steffi was awesome at Mix. I remember that that was a good occasion. And uh, let me go back to the list again, see what else I want to call. Oh, one of my maybe standout sets. I want to probably do only a couple more now. I just don't want to bore you with all my raving exploits. But one of the standout um, sets that I went to go see, or standout raves actually, in terms of overall production and what they did, has to be, has to be, has to be, has to be uh, Nina Kravitz at the Wolverstow Assembly Hall right it's for a night called retexture which is which was a festival thing that the crank brothers put on um it was in different venues around london different djs playing at different sort of times loads of big acts but i went to see nina kravitz because i'm a big fan of hers and she's a you know one of the ogs in the game uh let me see if i can find it here wolf and stuff so i remember seeing because i'm again i'm always on resident advisor i'm always checking things out and uh, wolf and Stove assembly hall let me see what? No one, no one's got it here. Huh? Ah, huh. no one's got a video of her playing at retextured. Interesting. Prodigy, what? Really? 
No one's got any videos of her playing there. Okay, fair enough. Let me see if I can find that video retexture. Let me see. No one, no one's got a video of her. I'm just looking at Instagram to see if anyone's got a video of her playing at retexture, but I guess not retextured. There were people taking videos. It wasn't like they covered our cameras or anything. So that's interesting. But anyway, who cares? So, Wolverstow Assembly Hall is this amazing uh, venue just near me, of course. Um, and I'm not sure what it was formerly, if it's a kind of theatre or whatever it is, but it's flipping gigantic, right? It looks like it should have a swimming pool in it. I'm going to try and get up here on the screen to show you what they did, right? So, big up Crank Brothers for investing that kind of money and getting that place hired and stuff, because I'm sure it wasn't cheap. So, it's a town hall, essentially. Uh, it's based in uh, Walthamstow. I'm going to get the images up over here now. And it's really, really big, right? So, I had to get... I kind of rocked up there, I think, just before the opening, just because I didn't want to... I wanted to make sure that I was getting in at first, because, again, I bought tickets, but you never know with these events sometimes. They can sometimes oversell the event, and then you end up standing outside waiting for the whole one in one out thing so i didn't want to take any chances so i ended up getting there quite early and i remember just rocking up thinking bloody hell this place is massive there's big gates outside like you're just arriving to buckingham palace and then you have to walk a long way until you get to the actual front of the actual building which is this thing which looks a little bit similar to like the bird kind so that was quite funny to hear kind of techno blaring out of this massive cube that was you know effectively a place for old fuddy duddies to complain about issues with the local council and stuff right but instead it's been transformed into this kind of you know haven for techno now before getting in i have to admit the security was a bit excessive you know they did kind of ruin the vibe for a couple of people some people did arrive a bit out of their minds you know too drunk too fucked up but you know that is part of the parcel of going out in london i think for the most part people aren't that much not edu <sighs> They aren't that we are we're not that cultured. I'm gonna say I'm gonna include myself. I'm not gonna point fingers. We're not the most cultured people when it comes to going out and having a good time, right? The lack of stamina is something you see a lot, um, especially in some London clubs, right? You see people kind of petering out and leaving places, you know, a couple of hours before the the place is gonna close. But if you go to other places, especially in Europe, you tend to see people, you know, going for it until the lights come on, right, in the venue because they're used to kind of spacing things out a bit better, maybe eating lunch later, maybe eating in the first place, wherever it may be, they're better at kind of tempering the night and making sure they don't peak too early. But when I went there, people did off definitely peaked way too early. But again, um, that that being said, it was an amazing night. Um, Crank Brothers hired this great venue out. They put a, a bespoke uh, lighting system, a bespoke sound system in there i love the they had this amazing kind of screen behind nina kravitz like it's kind of like i don't know wall to wall width size tight screen it was massive right and essentially it had all these graphics there and it uh i think it was an led screen or whatever it may have been it had graphics and, and words will come up at the back and it also just would have a white light so that you'd see uh, nina kravitz's shadow kind of swaying left to right and if you're familiar with nina kravitz you know how she kind of dances so that was quite cool to see that kind of thing. This is sort of a, this is not the same video, but this is a video from like Athens, right? Similar-ish kind of, but not really. Mostly of the screen. This looks like people behind standing there, but it was a really, 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 really great night. And again, one of my standout um, raves because again, um, just in terms of being a promoter, I, I know how much it must have cost them to kind of fit that place out, get security, a full bar. It was a it was a real big undertaking and for the for most part it did seem like the punters that went there were really appreciative how much went into the space the only issue i think was the fact that the floor was incredibly slippery i remember falling over a couple of times picking myself up of course but it was really really slippery you did end up getting really um you know because it was all flipping laminated flooring wood you know old school kind of town hall flooring i can only imagine what that must have cost to clean up and repair if people was spinning the drinks and making the floor get warped and stuff so that wasn't too fun but apart from that a great time um the only issue was the toilets were like you know miles away you had to kind of go out of the venue go down some stairs past the cloakroom and then you enter the toilets and the cloakroom as well was you know full of people there um but by and large um a great night and a great occasion i think crank brothers again one of our standout promoters out here in london or in the uk for in general so I definitely recommend you check out their parties when they put them on and then I would say, what was my last one? I've already spoken about mix already, haven't I? So let's probably change something else. Let's go to another rave that I thought was good. Ba 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 ba. Corsica Studios. That was that was a great. Oh, and Gerd Janssen at Village Underground. That was also pretty cool. But I think a standout, maybe the first one, maybe it might be Inferno. 
at the yard, right? And Inferno is a mostly, I'm going to say it's a queer party for the most part, right? They have a lot of drag acts sometimes performing there. Um, a lot of, it's no, it's a, they provide a safe space for that community. So you have to be, you know, in the know to, um, to, to really be aware of when their party is happening in the first place. But nowadays it feels as if they're like promoting and pushing it a lot more. Um, I'm sure they've done parties in Berlin and other places too. They're very much plugged into that community. So they know how to put on a good show. And by and large, I went there on the whim. I didn't really know much about Inferno and what they do in terms of parties. I didn't know much about the performers. I didn't know much about who was DJing. And it was really fun. Maybe one of the funnest times I've had um, going out. Again, the Yard is probably one of our better venues, similar to Mix. It's right It's right next to Mix, actually. It's in the same sort of square in Hackney Wick, if you're familiar with the area. Um, and again, a great venue, great security staff, uh, great people that work behind a bar. And just a nice little cozy little spot in the middle of Hackney Wick. It's, you know, it's got this great little kind of covered up uh, smoking area outside with like seating and stuff. You can find out and chill out and make new friends and stuff. And then the inside of the dance floor, it gets hot, it gets sweaty. And they have the addition of the stage just towards the back of the actual room that people get up on and dance and really kind of go for it. And in general, just again, one of my favorite um, kind of carefree nights. Again, I didn't know much about the rave. I didn't know much about the people behind it. I just went on a whim and I had a hell of a time. Let's see if I can, if someone had a video of them um inferno the yard let's see if anyone had a video from that time that was a couple of months ago wasn't it nah no one's got any videos from that party unfortunately so but yeah i would imagine you wouldn't anyway it's a safe space right you want to be a little bit private let people have their time yeah but yeah i'd imagine if you're a fan of those kind of parties and if you want to be plugged into the queer community into the gay scene into the lgbtq plus scene definitely recommend you check out um it's, I would imagine it's similar to like Crossbreed, even though Crossbreed is probably more sex positive or whatever that's called, right? That's kind of parties. But it's, sim it's similar in that sort of like, sim same sort of family, right? So definitely check them out if you're looking for a safe place to go and shell out, put on your best outfit and go and get a bit weird. It's really good. I really recommend you check it out. So yeah, those are my favorite kind of top performances so far, or top nights out actually in London from last year. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. What was your some of your favorite nights out in London from last year? I'm not I'm not big on the so I'm not big on roundup lists, but I thought it'd be cool just to look back on some fun 